fantastic. Okay, well, thank you everyone for coming and welcome to the first ever uh, live Zoom recital for the string department at the Music Settlement. Before in the past, our recitals were all recorded ones where the kids sent me their stuff and then I put it together. But I thought, you know what, in this, doing it like this, this way, it more imitates the actual recital experience where we kind of have to play in the moment be on our toes and just enjoy uh, playing for an audience for once, even if it is a, a virtual one. So thanks to all of those who are playing today. I think you are going to be fantastic. So I think uh, we'll start with uh, Jonathan, um, who's uh, here with us today. Hey, Jonathan, you're going to be our first up. Um, so welcome. Thanks for participating today. And Jonathan was a little bit over eager, extra excited, and he sent in a video. So I have that video, so I'm going to play that first. Jonathan, maybe you can tell us what your video is, what you're playing for us today? Oh, uh, yeah. So today I'm playing the an etude and a, a song, him by, the name's slipping my, I forgot his name, but I'm playing a him and an etude. Here we go. Fantastic. I was, um, that your puppy, your puppy dog in the corner of the picture there? Yeah. <laughs> He's here now too. So. <laughs> Super cute. What a great practice partner. Well, well done. Bravo to you and your performance. Excellent job. Okay. Next we have Delaney, who is my student, a violist. So Delaney, you can take yourself off mute now. There you are. Hello. Hello, so everyone, this is my student Delaney, and she's a violist. It's awesome. So can you tell us what you're going to be playing today? Um, I'm going to be playing Andantina. Right, by Suzuki. So when you're ready, you can take it away.
everyone knows, Delaney had a lesson this morning, and the first thing that happened when she took her viola out of the case was that she discovered her bow was broken. The worst timing ever. So um, she was lucky that one of her friends at school, who's also a violist, was able to lend her her bow for this recital performance. So we're we're very thankful for your friend, and uh, bravo to you too, because you know playing with someone else's bow is kind of like running a marathon in someone else's shoes. So, so it's, it's hard to adjust to do that, um, but you did fantastic, so bravo. Well done. Awesome. Okay, so next we have Emilio Cerna. So Emilio, come on up. Hi. Hey. All right, so Emilio, can you tell us the name of your people? Well, first of all, tell us who's playing with you today. Can you introduce us? Who's, who is that? Can you say her name? My sibling, Nina. Oh, okay, great. There you go. I didn't hear that. You said that before. Sorry. Now now we know. So, yay. Thank you, Nina, uh, with awesome blue hair today for accompanying your brother. So, and what piece are you going to be playing today, Etude? Or, uh, Emilio? <laughs> Etude. Etude, I just said it. <laughs> All right, well, once you two are ready to go, you can take it away. How fun, how lucky it is for you to be playing with each other uh, as siblings at home. What a, what a treat that is. So thank you so much. Bravo. You guys can take a seat. All right, next we have uh, Cheryl. So Cheryl, go ahead and unmute yourself. So um, thank you, Cheryl, for uh, playing for us today. Can you tell everybody what piece you're playing? I'm playing Twinkle Variation 3, also known as Blueberry Strawberry. All right, yay, and take it away when you're ready. performance. I love that twinkle. I think it's probably one of my favorite variations with that rhythm. So excellent. Wonderful. Okay, um, next we have uh, Kengo. Right. So Kengo. Oh, can you say that one more time? Maybe just a little bit louder? I'm going to play Chase on Triest. And who's that by? Um, Tchaikovsky. And can you tell us who's accompanying you today? Uh, my sister Meg. All right, cool. Hey Meg, thanks for playing. <laughs> All right, so when you guys are ready, you can take it away.
Tango. That was beautiful. I have to say, even though the title means a sad song, it actually, you played so beautifully, it made me happy. <laughs> but I did feel a lot of that sadness in there. That was so beautiful. Lovely. Well, great. Thank you so much for playing for us today. And thank you, Meg, too, for her awesome accompanying, awesome accompanying skills. Okay, next we have Sienna. So Sienna, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. And can you tell us uh, what piece you're going to be playing for us today? Um, theme for Riches from Riches Dance. Right. Excellent. And who is that written by? Do you know? No. Oh, okay. Oh, Paganini, who is one of the most famous violin soloists of all time. Right. So I give, oh. I, I'll, I'll let you slide though, because Paganini was a violinist and you're a violist. So um, we'll let that slide. <laughs> Okay, so let's play some Theme from Wishes Dance by Paganini. Take it away when you're ready. actually feel the witches flying there at the end <laughs> on their broomsticks. Awesome. What a great performance. Thank you so much. Okay, going on. Next we have Jay. So Jay, go ahead and unmute yourself. Oh. Hey Jay, so can you tell us what you're playing today? And actually you might want to come maybe a touch forward or, or scoot the camera up a little bit so we can see your face. There we go. All right, what are you playing today? Great, thanks. Take it away when you're ready.
beautiful performance. You know, I think it's such a charming piece, and I think you played it so well, especially because you look so dapper in your in your in your outfit there. Nice, very appropriate. Great job, bravo. Okay, next we have Thomas, um, my student Thomas. So go ahead and uh, unmute yourself, and then can you tell us uh, what piece you'll be playing for us today? Uh, concerto number five in D major, Opus twenty two, uh, third movement. Did you literally get a haircut in between our lesson this morning and right now? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It looks good. Good timing. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Yes, you said the full title for us, and um, you can take it away for us when you're ready. Gave me goosebumps a little bit. <laughs> Bravo. Well done. Very well played. Um, okay, so our next student, um, Matt Kwok. Is Matt here? Because I don't see him in my list, but if you are, Hello? you're just... Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> you are here. I didn't see where you were. So thanks for playing for us today. Um, can you tell us what you will be playing first? Yes, I'm playing the Sarabande of Bach's cello suite number two in D minor and uh, a sonata for solo cello by Hindemith. Excellent, beautiful stuff. All right, well, take it away when you're ready.
beautiful Han Ping. That to my is so special. All right, and when you're ready, you can do the, the Hindemith, Lebhaft. <laughs> Certainly be a piece you feel like you rock out on. <laughs> he wrote some really great viola sonatas too that have a lot of that same musical energy to it. So it's a lot of fun to play. You sound you sound like you've improved so much. So great job. And just so everyone knows, Matt has a senior recital coming up um, where he's playing a full program of music. When is that happening? It's happening on May 22nd at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> yes. And his teacher. So. So we'll be making sure to send uh, Matt some good vibes on that day for that whole big yeah. program. It's a lot of work put into preparing a big recital like that. So um, that's a really exciting step for you. So congratulations. And for your graduation soon. You're graduating from high school. So very fun stuff for you coming up. Okay, moving on to our next student, uh, Nina. I'm playing concerto number five in D major by Sykes. Great. Thanks for the introduction. You can take it away when you're ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jacqueline from Florence. So exciting to hear that ending too. Lots of fire in you guys today. It's great to hear all this energy. You guys were ready to perform. That's what that means. <laughs> okay, fabulous job. And next we have Nina's older sister, Maya. And Maya needs to get, do you need to get set up with the stuff really fast? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm almost set up. Okay. So just so everyone knows, Maya is going to be playing with a pre-recorded accompaniment. So we're just going to take a second for her to get that set up. Um, and we're very thankful for our, our staff uh, accompanist, pianist, Ann Wilson, for providing the accompaniment for her. So thanks to Ann. A little shout out. Um, and when you're ready, are you ready all set up? Uh, I think so. I think we need to... We just need somebody to press the play button. <laughs> okay. Take it away when you're set. And uh, what well, fun to hear that uh, kind of frolicky, very playful piano part too. So thanks again to Anne for providing that for us. So uh, the Serna sisters have decided to do a little encore for us today, and this will close our program. So I just want to take a quick minute to thank you all for, again, coming. And of course, for all of the musicians for playing. It's so exciting to be able to hear you. And some of you I haven't heard in a little bit um, and it's wonderful to hear you again. So um, what a great way to finish off the year, I think, with this recital, having all these instruments too, which is really cool. Um, a nice variety of uh, pieces to hear. So um, Nina or Maya, can you introduce the piece that you'll be closing our concert with? Uh, we're playing the theme from Howl's Moving Castle. And uh, for everyone, could you maybe describe what Howl's Moving Castle is? Or, or... Um, it's a Studio Ghibli movie. You guys have probably heard of that. Um, it's pretty popular, but it's about this guy and there's like magic and he has this big new castle. Right. And he's a very um, joyful person, right? He has a lot of like, well, not always, <laughs> but he's got a lot of uh, life in him, let's say. So when you're ready to play, let's hear it.
guys. Excellent. Bravo, ladies. I even saw some people in the in the images like kind of waltzing with you as you were playing. <laughs> so that's how you know people were digging it. So excellent. Can everybody maybe turn on their cameras for one last or turn on your volume too if you want and give a nice round of applause to all of our performers today. Bravo to everyone. All of your hard work has definitely shown in your recital today. So you all deserve to take the afternoon off from practicing. <laughs> So um, what a wonderful way to close out the year. And I hope that, you know, Matt, we have some students that are moving on. Matt Kwok, of course, will be graduating. Um, the Cerna family, who I've been teaching now for the last two years, they're moving soon. So I won't get to be their teacher anymore, which is very sad. But um, we're happy to have this little send off for them. And Ida, one of our cello faculty, she'll also be um, moving on at the end of this year. So lots of changes coming up, but um, music will always be there to connect us, I'm sure. So um, thank you again, everyone, for spending uh, your afternoon with me. I don't want to hold you up anymore from enjoying the day. Thank you again to all of our wonderful performers, and stay tuned for the next time, for the next recital, and hopefully that one will be in person. Woo! Fingers crossed. So enjoy the rest of your afternoon and uh, stay tuned for uh, this video to go up on our social media accounts soon. I'll send out that link um, once I get the video all edited and done. So thank you again and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.